Ah oh, man, you know A B, ancient burials, alligator bites. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Adrian Broder's verified Instagram. He just got out of the slammer. I just got out of the slammer, and he posted a couple things. I want to talk about Broner. First of all, he's doing some. He's doing a documentary, and he's already running and working out. He ran eight miles. That's what they said. Let me play the clip. As you can see from the pictures, he's getting that miles in. He says he's a changed man. He said this before, so we don't really know, but hopefully he's on the right track. <laughs> You know, A B. Fresh out. Greatness. So I know. No hard work. Why fan BC thanks the game? Not a game. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see nobody stopping us. Yeah. We're unstoppable. Went through a whole lot of obstacles. I saw we did the impossible. Run out that paper and then fuck it up. Go hit the club and then fuck it up. Run a four mile run into an eight mile run. Let's go. Feel good. Unstoppable, yes. unstoppable, unstoppable. Run out that paper and get it. Whatever it takes, we gon' get it. You know ain't nobody stopping us. Mafia, mafia, mafia. All of my nigga, they mafia. Thought I told you we're unstoppable. I just spent a brick on my team. Hey, Mouth. First day out. Let's go, man. You boys can't beat me. So, here's a progress picture of Adrian Broner, because the video you might not have been able to tell. That's what type of shape he's in. Um, not bad. He's in there for 30 days. You don't really know what the food's like. And I've seen Broner look a lot more out of shape. He doesn't really look too big or whatnot. Plus, he's moving up to 147. So he should be good. I want to give some ego matchmaker picks on fights I think would be good for Broner. First fight back. I posted one of them. So if you head over, make sure you guys follow me at Boxing Ego. I think this would be a good comeback fight. Broner versus Chris Algieri at 147. Algieri's been in there with some names. Been on the short end of the stick against guys like Amir Khan, recently Errol Spence Jr., Manny Pacquiao, beat Ruslan at 140. I think that's a good fight for both. Chris Algieri, he's been in some tough fights, so it's a kind of a must win for him. But Broner doesn't really have stoppage power. He, he showed some power, like when he dropped Sean Porter, that was at a catch weight, so I don't know if that had something to do with it. But he showed some power. Even Maidana said he was strong. But he hasn't stopped anybody at any of his fights at welterweight. So I don't know if he would stop Chris Algieri. Algieri's pretty big. He's tall. And I would like to see something like that. Another good fight for Broner is, of course, Robert Guerrero. If Guerrero gets past his next test, he's going to be fighting in L.A. this month, I believe. I don't really know uh, much about his opponent. But if he looks good in that fight, that's a fight that I would love to see. Adrian Broner versus Amir Khan. Another good fight. Khan, he, this probably wouldn't happen this year because I think he's out for the rest of the year, but that's a fight I want to see and maybe like the winner face of Danny Garcia. Another fight that I thought of with two more for Adrian Broner, Omar Figueroa. He's kind of been MIA. I haven't seen much from him, but that's a good scrap just to see where Broner is with the pressure style fighter who's tough because that's kind of the style that has given him the most problems. People that bring the fight to him, volume guys. Pauli Malignaggi, not a big puncher, but he brought that kind of rugged uh, volume style in the first half of that fight, and that was a split decision win for Broner. Of course, made Donna fights like that. Sean Porter. So Omar Figueroa would be a good barometer. And then last but not least, I would like to see Adrian Broner versus Josecito Lopez. Josecito Lopez, a warrior. He's kind of been hurt or stopped by the bigger guys, Canelos and Bertos. Those guys are all big, you know what I mean? Canelo's at 54, Berto's a full-fledged welterweight with power and speed and stuff like that. So 
I'd want to see how Broner deals with a tough, durable guy. You know what I mean? Like the only, if you look at it, Josito Lopez is a warrior. The only people that have stopped him are people that probably should stop him. It's not like you know what I mean. He stopped Aaron Martinez. He didn't get stopped by him. He stopped Victor Ortiz. And the guys, the only guys that stopped him were guys were like Berto, Canelo, Maidana. You know what I mean? All guys with power. So it's not like he was getting stopped out there by people with no power or something like that. So those are all good fights for Broner. You let me know in the comment section what you want to see next from Adrian Broner. It'll be it'll be interesting to see how he bounces back. They're talking about he could return in, I think they said November, but he definitely should get a fight in this year. This is his assistant, and here's a couple more clips before I get out of here. Ah oh, man, you know. You know Pacquiao didn't want to fight. Let me know what Broner should do next. You guys drop in the comment section as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.